Nice little sprinkle for you as we get ready to play and tip here at St. Mary's. And we are underway. You see Davis will start possession. They uh, will play. Uh, these five starters will play a lot of minutes. So that will be a big factor in this game. Oh, Sage Stobart gets it started. The 6-3 redshirt junior from Vancouver. So those are your starting lineups brought to you by Capital One. Step back in a shimmy shake, rolls down. The tighter it gets, so they need to find a high percentage opportunity here. See the ball go in the basket. And that one falls for Abby Hip, the senior from Kansas City, Missouri. Last time down, you saw the UC Davis players fly at her as soon as she got the basketball. Caleb muscles one in. Paige Stobart can't convert underneath. There There's Ruffridge, you said it. And Missouri State took a little while to get going. Abby Jackson underneath, spins and knocks it down. Pointer and then Jackson inside to give Missouri to do is that Princeton chin action, that backdoor cut from the wing. Now a five point lead, looking to make it more and they do. Just a, a short drive from Ellie's hometown and she was a big reason they made it to the Sweet 16 two years ago. Nice pass down low. Kayla Conrad finishes the redshirt junior from Valencia, California. She's hitting at a very high clip, 35% shooter from beyond the arc. Terpchik. Honorable mention all Big West, Mackenzie Terpchik. Ruffridge gets open again. Oh, you got to put a hand in the face of Ellie Ruffridge tonight. They think that they are maybe a little bit better than a five seed. They obviously have to prove it here against the best teams in the country, but they certainly have the talent to do it. Jasmine Franklin, one of those pieces, she's got six points tonight. That's it back out to Turkic. Here's a long three, knocking it down. There you go, Brenda. Evan Turner on the three. Gets it over to Emily Gartner. Here's Sidney Manning for three. The junior from Edmond, Oklahoma. Bryce Caleb with five left on the shot clock, top of the key. Rattles it home. Friendly bounce and St. Mary's here. Three on the shot clock. Caleb down to Gartner. Has to put it up. Does and connects. Now a bad shot. UC Davis just having a hard time getting into a rhythm offensively. They've gotten some good looks, and that's a nice one there. Conrad stepping back away from the deep. Terpchich kicks out to Sierra mm. Hall for three, and she's fouled. Terpchich, nice stutter step. Sierra Hall steps into one and knocks it down. Sierra Hall back-to-back -back threes. Terpchich down low. Stobart puts it up, and that's good. They've gotten themselves a little out of balance defensively. They're lunging out of position and need to get themselves back center. And that's a tough shot from one of the toughest players in the conference, Bryce Kalit. And she is just no nonsense going about doing her work. Hit. Gets a friendly roll there. You see Davis able to break the press in the corner. Evan Turner with the three. Sierra Hall, top of the key. Yes. It's a two-point ball game after back-to-back -back threes out of the gate. Just getting that momentum, feeling confident, working together, finding the openings in the defense, and now they've taken the lead. 12 seed has the lead over the five seed Missouri State thanks to a lot of threes. Missouri State takes it right back though. Ruffridge back in the game. Down a bit. And, and Ruffridge is being shadowed over on the far sideline. Caleb muscles one in. Franklin thought about it. Now puts it on the floor against Stobart. 
gets her own rebound and puts it back in. Franklin's got nine. In that victory over Arkansas, and the winner of this game will play Wright State. Boy, what a talented team they are. They have an inside presence, and they've got some cold-blooded three-point shooters on the perimeter. 9-0 run for the Bears. Halep steps back, top of the key, bottom. Gardner makes the three, steps into a long two. Emily Gardner having Emily herself a game. And, and finding a way to get the best shot on the other end of the court. Conrad steps into a three and rattles it home. Let's see if the Aggies can come back in this one. Down 13 now. They can bring such momentum to a team. Taylor, open lane for the basket after Kerpich falls down. She's a little slow to get up. Out to a pretty good start. Only five points, two for 11 from the floor. She's a big piece of this offense for the Aggies. Underneath Franklin, nice move. Last year, we were a complete offensive team, but our defense was just okay. And in our off-season meetings, we talked about how everyone needed to buy so much to do with the growth of this sport and so many more games on television each year and to have every single game on network television on one of the ESPN family of networks has been tremendous for the exposure of our game and help get Bryce Caleb on this roster. There's a three there from Evan Turner. It's a 14-point difference here in the fourth quarter. This full-court pressure is causing problems. Turner, how about this? Eight points in the last minute or so. Just got it off to Franklin, who was streaking to the basket, but that may have been a little bit lucky. That has helped them here down the stretch. Sierra Hall in transition with the three. Twelve point game, two twelve left to go. Franklin, oh that's too easy. Side out in the great leadership of Bryce Caleb, you have a chance to put together a run in a tournament in an NCAA championship. It's going to be an interesting matchup with this Missouri State team and the Wright State team that beat Arkansas earlier today. They have talent inside and out. Rose still saying, let's go, let's go. Season's not over yet till the buzzer rings. And there it is. Your final, the five seed Missouri State, a 70-51 win.